Welcome back, North Texas. We are just minutes away from a big celebration here at Victory Park. The champagne's already flowing, especially with Dale. We want you to join the party, too. Immediately following the news, we will be on Facebook Live talking with John's closest family and friends. There they are, the big smiles. There's PJ, Gloria, Mr. McKay, Nora, all of the people John loves. But first, we want to say a few words to you, John. Okay. All right. You know, and John, I mean, well, all the years that we've spent together, uh, we always talk about what a good guy you are, what a good human being you are, and what a classy person you are, and you're certainly all of those things. But the thing that I admire most is your Christianity, because you don't wear your Christianity on your sleeve, okay? It's how you act, it's, it's what you say, and it's what you do. And that right there is an example that I truly value, all of us value, and I'm really going to miss that. I really am. Thank you. And here's what I thought about last night, John. I, I, uh, you might be the only person I know uh, in 40 plus years, 35 here, mm -hmm. uh, that I've known you, that you've never raised your voice. I've never heard you yell in anger. Uh, Tracy Rowlett did a lot. Um, uh, Troy Dungan might have. Uh, Chip Moody certainly did, Iona Johnson, oh and God. I have. And a lot of people think that you and I had a big argument uh, over this World Series fiasco a few years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the reality is we went to the newsroom together, shoulder to shoulder. I was yelling at the producer. Uh, you were calmly explaining to her why she was wrong. And you and I have never exchanged a crossword no, in any true. fashion. And I said this last night, and I think it's absolutely true. You have inspired a generation of young men uh, to dream big, to, to be better men because of your example. I think you've done that, but I also know for a fact that you've inspired at least one old man to try and be a better man. And I thank you for that, my friend. Oh, thank I you. thank you for that. You. And I, I just want to drink. That's why I say that to you. News <laughs> was coming. So, John, I've known you my entire life. I grew up watching WFAA. I'm oh. a Dallas native. <laughs> and when Gloria Campos retired five years ago this month, I've had the privilege of working alongside you. And I just want to thank you for setting the standard for all journalists. And you are going to leave a very big void in our newsroom and in our hearts. But what I am most excited about is that you get to go from being Dr. John McKay in one month to being Grandpa John. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I've got, I've got, a, uh, I've got, a, I've got a grandbaby coming in, I believe it's If I'd have known how good it was to be a grandfather, I would have started there. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that, that, that has something to do with why I'm so looking forward to it, because let me tell you something. This man loves his grandchildren, and uh, that, is, that is seen every single day, so that's got, that's got me excited. So and how you will too. a toast? A toast. All right, I'll drink to that, but then I drink to tomorrow. Uh, so what I don't know. And Dale, since you have known John the longest, your favorite memory before uh -oh. we say goodbye. No, again, my favorite memory is what I just said. The fact that he is the classiest individual that I've ever worked with in this business. I've been doing this for a long time. But the constant, consistent, daily reminder that you don't have to be the jerk that I've been. You don't have to be the jerk that a lot of other people have been. The constant reminder that his dad raised one hell of a man. And that is my favorite memory of John McKay. It's, very I, it's just the way John carries himself. Again, you're, you're an example to all of us. You don't talk about it. It's just your actions every single day. And, and that just is an inspiration to all of us. And, and that right there, that's, I think that's a thing that I'm going to miss the most. And I know a lot of us will miss that as well. Stay with nice. us. John has his final thoughts when we come back.